Hey, what's up guys? I'm back with another video, and in this in today's video, we're gonna learn how to solve 2x2 two two blindfolded. So I know this is like really stupid, um because two x two blindfolded isn't the thing. But the two x two blindfolded will really help you when um progress into three x three blindfolded. So, let's go ahead and get started. First off is the type of cube that you want to use. Uh, try to have no logos on it, because sometimes those can get in the way. And you can also cheat off those. Also try to... Uh, also try to choose a quite a quiet cube. Because you don't want a loud sound like this when you're solving, because then that can make you forget. It's also hard to concentrate when you have, but it's much better when, when you have this. So, so the method that you're going to learn is called Old Pockmans. So this is only half of Old Pockmans that you're going to learn. Um, the other half is for 3x3. Three three. It's for edge um, permutation. So let's go ahead and scramble it up. Okay, so um, the scramble would what was just up on the board, and let's get started. So we we see we have this pair. Uh, yours can be any color if you didn't um, do it from the size that I did it from, but we see this we have these this pair. So what you can do with this, since it's not the same, this is going to be your starter piece. Right here is going to be the piece that basically stays there. So that means if this is here, then orange is on top, yellow is um, in front, um, blue is to the left, green is to the right because bl green is opposite blue, and then on the bottom is red and in the back is white. So now with that we're ready to go. Alright so what we want to do is take this piece and put it where it needs to go. So this is the orange, green, and white piece. If this is correct then this piece needs to go here. So how to do this is well what we do is we take the piece that's here and we move it down to here. So this is going to be your buffer position, which is basically the position where um, you solve the piece. So you put this down here because once you do the swapping algorithm, it'll swap this piece and this piece so that when you bring it back up, it'll be solved. Here's the algorithm on the screen. And then you undo your setup moves, and this is solved. Your setup moves is the moves that you take to get um, the, the spot where you want the piece um, to solve. There. So now we need to solve the piece that's here. So this piece is the red, yellow, and green. So this red, yellow, and green piece could go... here because it's opposite of this one but it's still on the yellow so it's going to go right here not here I mean so we want this to go here basically so what we can do is something like r prime d prime and now it's there because if we go ahead and switch it right now it won't be like It won't be orientated right. So, what we have to do is something like R prime D prime, and then we can do it, and then just reverse. And now this piece is solved. 
So now we want this piece, and this will go. This piece will go here. So what we could do is D R. So now it's here. And then R prime D D. And now that's solved. Now this needs to solve to go here. So what we can do here is I get F prime. You can move anything except for you can touch anything for a setup move except for this. In three by three it's a little different. But we can do like uh F prime F and see now we're getting down to the final pieces. So this needs to go here. So what we can do is D prime R prime D prime D R D. And then we just have this. Where actually the algorithm that you use every day on two by two for this if you don't use um, that, if you use um, for a, it's based it's the y perm algorithm that you're gonna use. Cause look how this works. This needs to go here. So the setup move is gonna be F. And then the unsetted move is going to be F prime. So it's really the same as this algorithm. It's really the same as a Y prime. Another thing that you can encounter is something like a cycle. So what this is, is basically when you go to put this in the correct spot, so like here, and you go, you look to see where this goes. Well, this needs to go. Oh wait, never. Mind. Okay, so another thing you can encounter is um, when you're a cycle. So what that is is basically so we're gonna solve this, and that is going to go here. So. And then this needs to go here, down here, so. And then this needs to go here, but where does this piece to go? need to go? This piece needs to go here. So then, you'd think that we'd solve the cube, but we don't. We've just solved that. So now we need to start a new cycle. And what that is, is basically we choose a piece that's not solved. And we put it in the buffer position. When we put it in the buffer position, um, then we just um, go from there and start a new cycle. So this needs to go here. And this needs to go here. Here. And see, now we're just left with two corners. So this needs to go here. Just like that. So that's what a cycle is. But what would happen if they're already in the spot, but they're not orientated correctly? Well, what you do is just put uh, swap these so they're not in their correct place, and then solve it from there. All right, so now we're on to memorization. So in memorization, you can either use um, numbers or letters. I find letters to work a little better but I might try numbers at some point but basically this is A B C D E F G H 
A B C D G no A B C D E F G H. See, even I get confused sometimes. I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X. Don't write on your cube. The reason why you don't want to write on your cube is that when you mix it up, it's going to be completely screwed up and it's not going to be in the right spot. So don't do that. Um, just don't do that. Okay, so now what we can do with that is memorize a, a bunch of letters. If you want to do numbers, then it's the same thing. 1, 2, 3, 4... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I find uh, um, numbers hard because they get bigger and bigger. And if you memorize like 2, 4, when you go to solve, you might think, oh, 24. So um, that's why I don't use numbers. Whereas in letters, it's much easier. So let's go ahead and scramble up our cube. Alright, so what we do here is, this is E, so we remember E, E needs to go to J, so E, J, and J needs to go to P, so we remember E, J, P, and then P needs to go... here where T is so T so E J P T and then we'd see where T needs to go and actually T is already in its correct spot for some reason oh wait I'm stupid Alright, so now memorization. So this is your base piece, so that tells you which face is which colors. So uh, let's start here in the buffer position. This stops with this. So E, this is the E on here. And you'd go to J. This is J. So you remember E, J. And where does J need to go? J needs to go here and P so E J P and then P needs to go here where Q is so you'd remember E J P Q and then Q needs to go to G so you'd remember E J P Q G which gets a little complicated but when you're first starting off, you can write it down. E J P Q T. No, wait, no. E J P Q G. E J P Q G. And G needs to go to A. And then you have to start a new cycle. So it's E J P Q A. So when you're starting a new cycle, um, you have to find a piece that you haven't already solved. So E J P Q A. None of the. No, E J. E J P Q G A. E J P Q G A. So what you can do is remember that E J P Q G A. None of those letters touch this one. So what we could do is swap these two and then solve it from there. So A and you'd swap it with this so that now um, this would be here and this would be um, here somewhere. So, 
remember E J P Q G A. So we what we do is, is we start memorization. Uh, we start solving E J P Q. It's back here. So. And then EJPQGA. So and now you're left with these two. Like I said before. So what you want to do is swap these. And how you memorize that is you just memorize which pieces need to be swapped and by what letter. So this needs to go here now. And the cube is solved. So memorization will take a lot of practice. You might want to write the letters down and then just look at the paper when you're blind solving. Um, you also might want to do um, a couple solves that are like just two by two solves with no memorization, but you're solving it with the Pachman method. Um, so really, it's up to you. So what this helps you with 3x3 is that um, it'll help, so now you already know how to solve the corners on 3x3. So yeah, now it's much easier, I guess, to, so to learn 3x3 because now you know 2x2 two two and you can impress your friends. So uh, one last the uh, tip is don't go to like a place with a big crowd and lots of people and try to memorize this. Please do it in a silent place because then that'll help you really concentrate and then you can memorize those um, corners much easier. So. That's it for this video. I hope you all enjoy, and I'll see you all next time.